right, some more Smash World Tour exhibition matches here. We got Riddles versus Shuton. Shuton is going to be on the Olimar. So it will be a uh, best of five set here. So let's get into it. Um, I, I feel like Olimar is a pretty solid choice against like the fighting game characters in general. You know, the, the purple Pikmin. Any horizontal like zoning pressure is going to be very good against yeah. characters like that. Yeah, no, absolutely. And I mean, one of the big things is while Terry will probably the most proficient oh my gosh again man i'm telling you every time you have to respect those falling nairs that nair has such a great hitbox and the fact that it so easily confirms in a dare at those like on the edge is so good but beautiful beautiful edge guard right there by shuton just gonna have that easy stock and now it's just literally it's right back at him man Ooh, the fast fall before the second up air there. Shuton, yeah. great positioning to get two more up airs after that first one because of the fast fall. Very nice stuff. And look at the control. Already two purple Pikmin out here for Shuton. Yeah, really, really good lineup for him here as soon as he can get out of the side. I love that quick up B. Releases go for a dare. Just run on top of his head. And now he has all the Moniques he needs. You have actual horizontal power right there. This is going to be a very, very dangerous lineup for Riddles to deal with. Spot dodge after the uh, back here as well. Spacing around. Are you going to get the landing? No, crack shoot. A lot of mobility there. Uh, that's definitely something Olimar does not have. Oh my goodness. He can't get through it. The snipe, bro. <laughs> it was so good. Definitely been seeing Riddles do a lot more uh, up throws in certain situations. And you, know, you see, like, Riddles always trying to set up that falling or rising Nair. I, I think the crazy thing about Terry is just the fact that Nair is such a threat on rising or falling. Uh, you need the rising if oh, you have the double man. jump. But great confirm there coming off of Riddles. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, of course, going with down tilt. And I love that he didn't even need a second one to do the confirm. He just went for one uh, singular uh, crouching light into the freaking burning knuckle and closes it out. And like you said, I really love that he does that, right? He, go, he gets the, the ground crack shoot off the stage, you know, gets a confirm, yep. and immediately gets a jump, jump back on the crack shoot. And some people will mess that up and they will just lose their stock like that. But it's really good because crack shoot is great to get someone off stage. And sometimes you may lose your stage positioning. So I love the fact that he just crack shoots way back on. The but parry man. on the power geyser shoots on. Yeah, oh man. my goodness, the confidence to be able to do that. Whoa, and where are you going? The forward smash cross stage, not even the purple. Shuton, especially during that mid game, had so much control over the stage. And we, you always talk about it with Olimar, when you get the double purple set up, it, it, like, it's all on the Olimar to make that, like really extend that value, right? Yeah. Dang. All right, going into it. Game two here on Smashville. Love the selection here, up air. Trying to give him a chase in the landing, not gonna get it, but he gets a tech chase still. Only at 32% though, so that's pretty good deal there. I mean, easy catch right there for Riddles to get a the Nair out into another burning knuckle, out of the throw. He's in a really, really good spot right now and killed a ton of Pikmin while we're at it. But the one that matters still on deck here. Oh. I guess we're oh, going yeah, down, huh? Check, checking out that bottom blast zone. Tried yeah, to man. do the up beat. <laughs> Obviously, right there, Shuton wanted to either probably fast fall to ledge or just go onto the stage there. Gonna miss the ledge. And, uh, yeah. But that Riddle's gonna have a slight advantage here, but still has taken quite a bit of damage from this chip. True. And that's one of the biggest things, I think, in this matchup, right? Where Shuton's gonna be able to really just get a lot of chip damage. Because even though Terry's one of the faster uh, fighting game characters, you still have to kind of weasel your way in. And that's such a good timing for Olimar just to get easy latches, you know, in mid-range. Yeah, and right there, Riddle's trying to uh, kind of use some armor move above the ledge just in case shoots on peaks above the ledge with like a double jump aerial option. And I love the sweet spot that Riddle's been going for. With the intangibility yeah. as well, it can be a little tricky to get this character off stage. Yeah, man. I mean, this guy does not mess up any of these command rising tackles, right? Great swing right there. Of course, you're going to have that extended hitbox coming from that uh, yellow fair. Uh, that's going to be a solid option there for Shuton. Shuton at 116, 117 now, though. He needs to get some damage on the stock, you know, before he goes into the last stock, and <laughs> Terry's just sitting pretty. Yeah, and again, we've seen so many situations where Riddles like extends outward with either like a dash attack or even just going for like a burning knuckle off stage or crack shoot off stage and then just crack shoots right back onto the stage to either keep like all the stage positioning. And there it is yeah. again. Like that that is yep. so good. It's like, so good, man. Mobility it's... is king in this game. Yeah. It's it's so ridiculously good. Just easy, easy damage, gets right back. Um Shuton has a potential juggle situation here. Good nair. Trying to get a landing fair, they're not going to get it, but 
dude, getting bit by bit, getting a good amount of damage, has him 102. This is a very, very good looking stock here for Shuton. Wow. Yep, good swing. One up B left and... Oh not... my god. Did you see the timing too? Like, Shuton right there, I don't know if uh, Riddles did end up doing the intangible up B, but I feel like Shuton actually waited to get the tail end of the up B, because that's when Terry's vulnerable. And even going for the sweet spot, Shuton just positioned right underneath the stage just to make sure to get that back here. Yeah, that was absolutely immaculate, man. Like he, and this is the thing, right? Like Shuton does, uh, you know, like he had Sue would play a, a lot of Terry as well, right? Really, really excited for Terry when he first uh, was inducted in the game. So I love the fact that she. Woo! <laughs> Wait, not yet. The snipe tries to go for it, gets the nair, has no Pikmin on deck, still living though. But wait a minute. Are you oh. okay, center stage? No, you're not. The rage is on deck. The go meters on deck, and wow. What, Yo, just, what a just cough. <laughs> just, yeah, just cough for my boy Terry, all right? He needs to know. Yeah. He needs to know about your well-being. Terry needs it. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> and that you was from Jab see. as well. And yeah. Again, I, I think uh, Riddles was able to catch Shuton out of the air, if I'm not mistaken, with the jab. And when you get uh, most characters in the air like that, you're able to set that up. And oh, done. easy catch. Almost a stock. It can be, you have to change your DI like really quick with that conversion because mm -hmm. you're trying to DI out to get out of the Nair chain, but then you have to switch back in when you get hit by the Burning Knuckle. And Shuton almost lost his stock there getting that DI caught, you know, yeah. in the wrong direction. <laughs> no, exactly, exactly. Potential uh, traps here. I think Shuton's gonna sit back though. Just, just sit behind, uh, sit underneath this platform, right? Just raking all this easy damage. Does not get a punish though on the power wave. That's a big one. And uh, Riddles is gonna have him at the edge. You already know there's Nair's coming out the life. Easy F tilt too to get him off the stage. And goes for the rising tackle. I like the mix there. I mean, in that kind of situation for Shuton, he doesn't want to really die off stage. Um, he's afraid of getting hit by power dunk, right? But it's, uh, Rising Tackle is just going to be the safest thing for you. And he goes in for another one, man. It's, every time those things look like they're going to kill. Crack, shoot. Are you dead? Oof. Oh, my Bro. goodness. Oh, tried to get the Nair. Oh, man. Not going to... Does get a bit of damage, but yeah. that was a pretty good position. Oh, wait. Okay, yeah. This is stock. But I, Terry doesn't have too much stuff going that deep for, like, a stock. You could maybe go mm -hmm. for, like, a reverse down air or something like that, but that's hard to set up. Yeah, I, I usually think in those kind of situations you want to go for a crack shoot into the ledge. Um, you, even if you get a tech chase and the air dodge back on, usually by that time you should be okay. Um, but it, it's a very hard situation for Terry to really cover. Rising fair, get the yellow Ooh, okay. the out. Double purple on deck oh, here for Shuton though, and hasn't ha taken too much damage. Riddles has the lead, but hasn't really been able to solidify any extra credit, any extra damage, and just like that, Shuton getting the stock. Yeah, and that was a rough one, because although you you saw a Riddles kill a lot of the Pikmin, which is going to be great in theory, you you, you actually want to maintain a lot of the Pikmin. You want to keep them alive. You want to make sure you're killing the purples, right? Because then it's a harder situation, and they have to deal with all these other Pikmin they probably don't want in their lineup. But now he's got a really solid lineup here, and uh, Riddles is really going to have to contest to it. It's still doing really well, but oh no, that was a guess. Yeah, still had to crack you with the double jump to get back on stage. All these trades kind of in favor of Riddles here. Terry's an extremely heavy character, like definitely mm -hmm. within the top 10 or top 8 in terms of uh, weight. But the double purple yeah. is online here for Shuton, and we've seen how things kind of just pivot towards Shuton's way with these double purples. I don't think that's it cross stage, though. Yeah. No. Yeah, not yet, but man. Just wake up. Just do it. And you see Riddles kind of like... There's like dash forward, you know, dash attack, you can dash forward just throw out the one jab to see if you can get the connection there. A lot of uh, confirms Riddles can look for it here, but Shuton just getting all these straight hits with the Purple Pikmin. Yep. And uh, I love it, man. Riddles of work moving. Oh, that's a snipe. Right on the top of the head, bro. That was a headshot. Yeah, and in that situation, Shuton just pretty much pre position pre-positioning himself just in case Riddle does go for that autopilot like Sheik Bouncing Fish or the Crack Shoot for uh, you know, Terry right there. Gonna get the punish. You are gonna have that extended range off stage. True. Oh, up, up, here we go. The elevator, easy 53%. Potential latches here. And uh, we'll see how the slants affect this matchup as well here. Um, right now, Shuton is up 2-1. See if uh, Riddle can take this to a game five situation. 
Yeah, good, good uh, string right there from Riddle, so getting to oh, F tilt. Oh, no, he's looking for it. Yeah, he wanted all the nares in the awesome. world. Good catch there by Shuton, man. Getting that kill. Jeez. I, Omar usually can't get that crazy in terms of vertical. And mm -hmm. so I, I'm very curious if that was even cross of the eye. I don't even know if you can get across the eye with the, uh, you know, the Omar up there there. But that whistle saved Shuton earlier. On the left yeah. side, you saw Riddle's chaining those nares. That was Shuton's life <laughs> on the line. No, absolutely. I love yeah. how Riddles has been moving around this platform. You've seen it on Battlefield too. Kind of will land on a platform and immediately just run off and then like fastball. And then with auto turnaround, even if you ran to the right, you're just looking to the left if your opponent's in that specific scenario. True. So you get good damage here, and you know, almost this is pretty much even at this point, right? Given that Terry's weight in a good spot. I love that. Crack to the other side of the stage using that. Uh, Easy power wave. Power wave still a pretty solid tool in the air, and you have to respect it at times. Um, but yep, absolutely. But wow, good catch. Just walk a little bit forward. You know, coax him to press a button. Look, sees a crack shoot. As safe as it is, you can still get punished. And there again, the nair dare off the side of the stage. That has been the bread and butter for Riddles. Okay, parry on the first hit, you are able to punish that. That move can be pretty troublesome to punish, uh, even if you block the crack shoot just because of how far Terry goes on the cross up. But she's on showing if you get the parry on that first hit, you do have enough time. And look at all this damage. Emperor just trying to get back on stage, and the power dunk getting blocked by that middle platform. It's so important, so important here. And he's been really good. Oh my gosh, that shield was gone. Hits him up. Jump up. A potential here, just not get the right swing. What? Bro. It was too far, and that, I don't know if that would have done it. Almar is light here. The purple, you're taking so much damage, it kind of doesn't matter at this point. Almost gets the cross Don't be in the alleyway, bro. Do not be in the alleyway with this man. He is a robber. Oh, that's bur both purple. Shoots on through them both out. This is a huge deal here. <laughs> just, the, just the normal squad. Yep. Oh, the Wait. clank? Oh, the clank? Oh my god, the clank was everything. Wow, and that clank locked up Riddle so long that it gave Shuton enough time to go on the other side and get a down smash. Man, such a close set here. Wanted to see the game five, but Shuton able to close it out 3-1. And yeah, that was, that was a great display of the matchup there. Um, both of these players, uh, I, I def, definitely in contention. I, I would say uh, Riddles is the best Terry by far. Um, mm. And, you know, Shuton, there's a bunch of like the Buzz and other great players that play that are all Mar play that character all so great set between both these players again these uh riddles and shoots on grinded a lot at smash world tour we got to get some footage of it and got more coming for you guys as well yeah absolutely man all all in all it was great uh one of the beautiful things is you know riddles has of course played against uh quite a bit of some of the all Mars, so that's nice shoot has a great experience and understanding the matchup as you can see there so it's really nice to kind of see not just people who are really great uh, uh, character specialists, but also have at least some solid understanding of the matchup, right? Uh, and this, then you really get to see where does it go from here, besides the kind of basic, you do your stuff, I do my stuff. So great showing from these guys. I'm excited to see more from them. Uh, you know, but I hope you guys enjoyed this one thus far. Uh, please like, follow, and subscribe. You know, let us know in the comments, you know, what other crazy matchups you guys would love to see, you know, as we kind of roll out and get some more content for you guys. But uh, for now, uh, we see you guys next time. Peace out. Peace.